Over south and central Florida, there is a sprawling surface trough of low pressure draped across the Florida Peninsula, a gentle but persistent pivot in the atmosphere that refuses to budge. Aloft, a trough embedded over much of the eastern U.S. amplifies the unsettled mood, inviting moisture to rise and storms to brew. From the ground up, the air is nearly saturated with tropical moisture, precipitable water values soaring well above two inches. This isn't your garden variety summer humidity. It's a moisture rich environment that sidesteps the typical diurnal dance of sea breeze triggered storms, allowing for rain and thunder to develop beyond the usual afternoon timing. In central Florida, particularly around Melbourne, this atmospheric cocktail has led to 70 to 80% rain and storm chances embedded within a moist ecosystem fed by an inverted trough and pulsing with deep layer moisture nearing 2.3 inches. Radar already shows slow moving bands of heavy rain, some dumping three to four inches, generating flood advisories from Titusville to Osceola County. Storms will be moving downwind with the weak steering wind, so they meander or stall. When that happens in a moisture laden air mass, training convection becomes a real concern where one cell drifts over the same area repeatedly, piling up rainfall. The peninsula's twin coast fuel contrasting sea breezes, east coast and gulf side, each tugging inland and colliding with boundaries like the trough or frontal remnants. These collision zones spark bursts of convection, especially along and west of the 95, as seen this evening and forecast into tomorrow. Be mindful. These storms bring frequent lightning, strong wind gusts and localized heavy downpours, warranting caution, especially near convective clusters. Expect sub-VFR or IFR conditions, key to the convective timing and movement. On the beaches, beware. Rip currents are high risk, especially where onshore flow builds and wave energy intensifies. Another hazard layered atop the stormy pattern. Looking ahead, the roof isn't leaking yet, but the pattern continues. The weak frontal boundary and mild upper trough maintain deep moisture and storm chances into Sunday. Rain still looms at 60 to 80%, dominated by the same mechanisms. Slow steering, deep tropical moisture, and boundary collisions. As the week advances, moisture slowly wanes and the mid-level ridge builds in nudging precipitation chances down to 50 to 60 percent, but temperatures and heat indices climb into the low to mid-90s and perhaps over 100 degrees Fahrenheit. 